enough, guys. Got a quick one for you. Hopefully, it's gonna work out for me. Going over to the old pump house fishing. Taking these bad boys along. Hopefully, I'll have some good luck like I did yesterday. Something you'll get to see. So, stick around. <laughs> go. Check that out. They're about two inches long. Made in China. Uh, bass walleye shad drop shot. 3.2 inches is what it says. Okay. So, this is a kind of hook that we'll be putting it on. You can see that. We'll take this is what's left of the one that I was using yesterday. But oh. okay, that was his eye. He, he might not need that. Just take and put it on there like that. Just kind of screw it on up there. Okay, well, I hear the fish is jumping. There we are. We will see. That works. And I got a weight on there because these things are kind of buoyant and don't like to sink real fast. Bear with me guys. I'm hoping to give y'all a good video. Like I said, I was here yesterday. They tore it up. You see that? They're jumping out of the water. Just throw it out, let it sink a little bit, and just kind of twitch it in. Oh man, I gotta get over there. I gotta throw it over there. I'm... They are chasing like crazy over here. I also brought the uh, bait caster with the spider. And if they're chasing on top of the water, like I'm just sitting here, that's all I'm doing, the spider might work out pretty good too. About this lure here, even the small fish like it. A couple of the bass I caught yesterday wasn't maybe a half a pound, if that. But the fish in this canal here, they put up such a good fight. You see, you just reel it and twitch a little bit. This vegetation that you're seeing, it wasn't in here yesterday. It just, uh, I don't remember if it rained last night or not. I don't think it did for it to push in like this. see this stuff. I'm tired of seeing me on my back porch and sitting in my camper doing videos. They want to see some live action. Let's give them what they want, people. Let 
that area that I've been casting right in there, straight over there, that's where I've had the most luck. There's an old culvert. Oh, I just had a little hit. There's an old culvert. I don't know if I'm pointing it, but right there where this, you can see that little step that goes down right there by that gate. It comes out over there. And I believe there might be a bed over there. Because I've had so much luck right in that area. Look at that, they are chasing. Do not let the faithful followers of the suit outdoors down. Show them what you're made of. That's, that, that weight is taking it to the bottom, but then the buoyancy of the plastic will have it right up off of the bottom. And every time I twitch it, it's making him dance. That's, that'll make that'll make them fish aggressive sometimes anyway. Looks like they're feeding. With these lures and this canal the way it is, normally when I cast, I try to go all the way on the other side. And then once I start reeling, once I get about eight to ten feet offshore, I just go ahead and reel it in. Most of the time, they're going to hit right there at the bank. somewhere else. I can see them over here swimming around on top. So we'll try them over there. bad as I hate to turn this camera off because I know when I do is when I'll get a bite but I really don't know if y'all want to just sit here and see me cast and reel and cast and reel so oh yeah that was perfect and he hit it Slack. So y'all can hang around for a little bit longer. 
I was actually kind of waiting in that little clump of grass right there. Waiting on it to move so I could cast straight over in there to that. Oh! Oh man! He didn't let it go. He must have been a little one. Or I just snatched too dang late. But it was right there where I told you. Right straight out there. So, we'll try it again. Alright, do I still got him? Yeah, I still got him. He's not a monster, but he's a fish. Which I want, right? Look at the way he killed that thing. Tell you what. I really, really like these lures, these plastics. I ordered some more. Cool, huh? Going back. Set this bad boy back up. <laughs> now let's do it again. Told you as soon as, as, soon as I turn the camera on. Change baits, change rods. I got the bait caster with the spider on it. I'm gonna give you real quick how to. Just cast it out. I hope you can see it. And just slowly walk across the top of the water. You want it to look like a spider walk across the top of the water. I mean, the way they're chasing on the top right now, I figured why not give it a shot. Hopefully we'll get lucky. Once a fish hits it, as it did it with the last one I had, it does something to the lure to where after every couple of casts it'll be full of water and it'll sink a little bit. Which actually ain't too bad because if they're not biting on top of the water, you can get them. This one here is brand new, and I haven't caught a fish on it yet. I'd be happy even catching a gar on it, just to get it to where it'll sink a little bit. It's kind of aggravating to be honest with you because I see him popping all over the top of the water. They are feeding. Maybe they're scared of spiders.
tell you one thing. My granddaughter does not like this little spider lure. She is terrified for some reason of spiders. Now she likes to fish with it. She'll let me cast it out. She'll help me reel it in. But once we get it up out of the water, she don't want nothing to do with it. guys I was hoping for a little more successful video but I didn't get that lucky oh my god what the heck happened here Looks like we're going to be re-threading. Because I don't know what's going on right there. So we're going to do this. There. Probably should not have done that. But at this moment in time I had no choice. Exactly what I did. Look at that. I tell you what, guys. That means it's quitting time. I'll give you one more cast with the spider. Maybe two more because that was a terrible cast. But I was hoping for a better video today, guys. set up and give y'all a good fishing video tomorrow. Go somewhere different besides here. I'm not sure where, but I'll find some place. Every time you get that perfect cast, something happens in your life. But, I hope you enjoyed it guys. Wish I could have done better for you, but you know how it is when it comes to fishing. It's not always in your hands. You're at the mercy of the fishes. So, oh, just had a hit on it. Must have been a little guy because he sure didn't take it. Remember guys, like subscribe notification thumbs up share download check me out on facebook sweet outdoors and uh one more time i want to thank you for the hundred subscribers it's steady going up which i uh, love it love you guys for it oh all right we're not gonna give up yet guys that's two hits in the same exact spot, so we'll try it again. Oh man, he hit it good too. He needs to go ahead and hit it though, because these mosquitoes, they're biting better than the fish.
these mosquitoes. They're horrible here. I'm uh, a quarter mile, if that, from Lake Okeechobee, which is these mosquitoes' breeding grounds. Not to mention this water right here. All the trees around here. I mean, they're just. They're bad this time of night. So, alright. You know me. One more. I'm going to call it a day. Oh, that was absolutely perfect, too. Oh! Probably getting y'all a little motion sickness. I can't help it. Dancing. Yeah. Oh, great. Now the light comes on. Alright. I don't even know if y'all can see what's going on right now. thing about mosquitoes once they come out and you hit one I don't know man it's like a dinner bell goes off they just come running all right guys I can't do it no more so like I said like subscribe notification thumbs up check me out on Facebook sweet outdoors keep up the good work appreciate every one of you guys love you guys And remember, be safe out there. God bless. Stay outside, people.